feature at Shelburne Park on Saturday night was one of the most famous competitions on the calendar, the Shelburne Open 600. Won by some real stars through the years, another one was going to enter the role of honour. But what would it be? Beach Avenue, the star of the semi-finals, but he needed to do everything right in what was a tremendous contest. Let's join them on parade. The sure the big one coming up in the grey and are parading for the 2021 Shelburne Open 600 final. In one is Razzle Dazzle Peaky for the Kildare Kilgolgan Syndicate, trained by Neilius O'Connell, the winner of last year's Bullsport Irish Greyhound Derby Consolation final. If he breaks, he could shock one or two. In two, we've got the only female in the lineup. That's Billy Steva for Marie and John Kennedy. She's won eight from 18. She's unbeaten in the stakes. She's third in the Easter Cup final. And she's bidding to be the first female to win this competition since Colorado Holly back in 1990. In three, we've got Bally McWild for Liam Dowling, an 11-time winner from 32 stars, the son of Vulture. He's danced every dance. He won the Juvenile Classic. He's been a final finalist of the Boylesport Irish Greyhound Derby, the Kingdom Derby, the St. Ledger, and he ran up the champion stakes. And when he did his fast run here last September, it was from trap three, just like he's in tonight. Four is Pierno for Jer Hutton, the youngster in the syndicate, trained by Tommy O'Donovan, a son of Loghill Blake and Miss Minnie Marvel, a three-time winner from 16 starts, the likely pace setter early on. And if he can repeat that 588 section from last week, who knows what might happen. And then we've got the hot favourite, Beach Avenue, for Pat Healy and trainer Paul Hennessy. If we had a crowd here at Shelburne Park, there'd be a big roar for this fella. Paul Hennessy has won this six times in the past, and this Beach Avenue was sensational last week, recording the third ever fastest time over 600 yards at Shelburne Park. Can he do it tonight? And the hair running for the big one, the Shelburne Open 600 final of 2021. In one is Razzle Dazzle Peaky, two is Billy Steva, three, Bally Mac Wild, four is Pierno, and six is Beach Avenue. And away they go. Pierno's well away again, as is Bally Mac Wild. One Razzle Dazzle Peaky slow. Billy Steva getting into gear. And Beach Avenue is going to turn forward around the opening two bends, but he's got a lot of work to do because off the second bend, and it's Pierno who is setting the gallop. Billy Steva's going in chase, as is three Bally Mac Wild. And Beach Avenue is starting to stay on, but he still has a mountain to climb around the top two bends. And this is where Bally Mac Wild is challenging Pierno. It's Bally Mac Wild, Pierno, Beach Avenue down the outside. Pierno, Bally Mac Wild, Beach Avenue from the clouds. What a finish to the big one. A three-way photo finish between Bally Mac Wild on the out in the inside, in the middle of the three, Pierno, and Beach Avenue with a late, late lunge in an absolute cracker. We've got to leave it to the judge. A three-way photo for the final of the Shelburne Open 600 of 2021. And whatever's won it has done it in a winning time of 32-38. And the result of the 2021 Shelburne Open 600 final, one of the greatest races witnessed at Shelburne Park. The winner, trap three, Bally McWild for Liam Dowling in Bally McElligot. Second trap four, Pierno. And in third trap six, Beach Avenue. And the winning time was 32 38. Alan, well, what a tremendous performance. How did you see the race? I was just down at the pickup race, to be honest with you. I kind of closed my eyes. But what a finish. What a finish, no one That dog. He's a tough dog. He deserved to hit the couple of crossbar a few times now, but that, that's long overdue. Yeah, and did you think he'd get up? <sighs> to be honest with you, I hadn't a clue. Yeah. To be honest with you, I hadn't an absolute notion. Yeah. In fairness, no, that's been honest. Yeah, and how did you see the race from, from down the back straight? Did you think that I was... thought going on the back straight, like, he was in a good position. And, like, he's a strong old stayer, in fairness. Like, so I just said to myself, if, he, if he's within distance, he'd pick it off at the, towards the line. So, look, in fairness, no, he did what he had to do. Uh, super final, there really wasn't a huge crowd here to see it, like you know, but uh, it's a scintillating final and, and uh, I suppose well done to Bally McBile and, and commiserations to, to Pierno, but uh, Bally McBile, he, he got his day in the sun, like he has been a great, great servant for uh, the Dowlands and he has done testament to the, to the 600. It must be one of the most thrilling finals there's been for quite a while here. Yeah. Has been, I pity there would have been some roar there if I could have had the crowd here, like you know, but that's what, it's great to have the race and that's the main thing, like you know. And it's been a great card all round. Some That's nice stretches and that, showing the Oaks as well. Yes, fabulous card, fabulous, fabulous, nice race. And uh, yeah, there's a few uh, little gems that have been appearing here tonight in, in, in that uh, Juvenile Oaks. Certainly a uh, few for the future. And um, it's nice to see that there's quite great quality racing all around and as you're transferring down to Limerick as well. Like, you know, it's great to see top class racing like it. Well,